What's going on everyone? Welcome back to a new video. My name is of course Paul and it's Thursday night. Now, I haven't done an awful lot again tonight, but what I want to talk about tonight is what's going on with the iPhone 10. And if you're wondering about the wallpaper, I've actually got it on Twitter, so if you go and follow me over there at Rankins, you'll be able to find this wallpaper. It's the insides of an iPhone 10. That's basically the wallpaper I've got at the minute. There's the two cameras there, the dual cameras in the top, batteries etc and the innards of the iPhone 10. What's happened recently is, before I went away I was hoping O2 would be able to unlock this for me so I could use my other SIM card as obviously I can then tweet and do all my social media stuff, go live and stuff like that without having to find Wi-Fi to do that. Now I asked O2, O2 told me that they couldn't do it and they could only do it when the device was paid off but then as I said well the device is never going to be paid off because at the end of the day it's on an O2 refresh contract which means that in 12 months time I'm going to be replacing the phone with the latest device and obviously you know I used to drop like £800 on a phone and sell it for four like four, over four and a half you know by the end of the year to go and get the new one I did say I was staying with the iPhone 7 Plus, however that changed and I went with the iPhone 10. What happened was, they said no it couldn't be done, so I went away and as you know, I bought the Essential phone, as you know, which is a, a re review, is coming soon on this, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But, I bought the Essential phone, put my SIM card in it and was able to use it and according to 3, let me just see if I've got this, the message still on here and I'll show you the message. Last year when I had the, the Galaxy, and they said that I saved £4,000, well, that was this one. I saved £807 this time out, but that was only on like a few days with the Essential phone. Now it worked great for what it did, but it was dropping signal here and there, so I thought it might have been the 3 SIM card. What's happened now is, I had an argument on the phone with O2, and as I said, the same thing of what I just said to you is the fact that the phone would never be paid off because it's an O2 refresh, so therefore it wouldn't get unlocked. They then said that Apple would give them the unlocking facility in six to seven months. Basically when the device was available to everybody and it wasn't on back order. Because I think O2 have got it on back order at the minute. I don't think you can walk into a store and get it. I'd have to look into that, I'm not too sure. What they said on the phone was that you couldn't actually go into a store and go and get it. So basically it wasn't readily available. So they have to wait until they became readily, readily available to be able to unlock. So the lady started arguing with me on the phone, I asked for a manager, she got a manager, the manager started arguing with me, so then I decided to sack it all off and put a complaint in. Now I put it on, if you go to o2.co.uk and you put a complaint in there, basically this, this is what happened. I got an email stating that there wasn't enough information from me, I had to provide more, like you know, for them to get into the account. Done that. Got another email saying we'll be in touch within five working days. So that was yesterday. This morning I got a text message saying we will give you a call today to discuss your complaint. Within 10 minutes of receiving that text the phone started ringing. It was 02. Lady on the phone said let me try and help you as best I can. I've been charged for phone calls by the way while I was in Orlando. But as you know I weren't using that phone only on Wi-Fi. And I was using the essential phone for a bit of it as well. So therefore nothing was done with that phone. So, she went through everything, she refunded £19, which is what I've been charged for the phone call that was made, which never got made. They gave me £40 as a gesture of goodwill on my contract, so I've got £40 on my contract, which means I don't have to spend as much in next month's bill. And then she said about the unlocking thing, let me go and speak to a colleague and see what I can do. I said okay, so she went away. She said unfortunately that is the case, it is the, the procedure, she said, but as a gesture of goodwill, we're going to unlock the phone for you. And within 10 minutes the phone was unlocked, I put in the SIM card in it. Right now it's currently on the 3 SIM, and it's working perfectly. The O2 SIM is in the Essential phone, and is working perfectly. When the 3 SIM was in the Essential phone, it wasn't working that great. I've got to say, the signal kept dropping all the time. When I was in work, you couldn't do an awful lot with it unless you were upstairs. If you were downstairs, you just literally couldn't do nothing. That is the story of the iPhone 10, which is now unlocked and ready for me to use in three weeks time when we head back over to the States. So guys, let me know what you think of this video. I've now got an unlocked iPhone X and the Essential phone. Any videos that you want to see coming up in the future, please let me know in the comments down below. Anything you want to see, be sure to let me know. 
Also as well, we're coming into basically Christmas time, which means a vlog obviously as I've been doing every single day, but in December we call it Vlogmas. So I hope you're looking forward to it guys, this is going to be interesting, a whole month of Christmas stuff and just general stuff in Vlogmas. So I hope you're looking forward to it guys, thanks so much for watching, drop a like on this video, subscribe if you're new to the channel, go back browse some of the old videos and I'll see you all tomorrow.